Hi, and welcome to Worldwide Drums. I hope this episode helps. Okay, we have our verticals installed on the drum. All worked all the way around the drum. They're nice and loose. Again, the, the, the purpose wasn't to tighten anything up. It was just to get the rope on the drum. I'm finishing up with my final few verticals here. And then we're ending up with, at our end loop. That was the first knot that we put in the drum. And we should have, at this point, uh, at least four feet of rope left behind and you always want to have a little bit of rope extra if you're buying rope and you don't know how much to buy buy 80 feet of rope for a standard drum I'm finished I came up through my final loop here and I'm finished getting the rope on the drum the next thing we want to do is clean up the skin the creases I should say and go around and pull the skin taut pull it up against the flesh ring under the bottom so that it's a nice smooth skin under there and there's no wrinkles and we'll just keep working our way around pulling that up keeping keeping the top even at all times so keeping that top ring nice and flush across the top there work your way all the way around let's see you can see we have some bagginess here you pull it we have a little bit of a wrinkle just keep pulling that tug it back and forth until you get that wrinkle out of there sometimes you got to pull the skin to the side if it's creased. Sometimes you'll get a crease that you just can't get out. Don't worry about a small crease. It's okay, but you want to get the majority of them out. So we'll go ahead and stretch that up there. Again, keeping the top ring centered at all times. And then I pull this down to take a look at the top. And what I want to see is everything nice and flat and flush. You see there's a little, not much tension there yet because we weren't at that stage yet. So our skin's on the drum. Now we can start to pull some of this slack out of here. The main thing for that is to make sure that you don't pull too hard and move this ring. In fact, the first time around you're not moving it at all. You're just taking the excess slack out and you're pulling on the downside. As you do that, you pull that rope taut, bring that top rope, the rope that you're pulling, bring that down and around the bottom of the top ring loop rope so you don't have it sitting up on top like that. It'll eventually pull down but it's nice to get started in the right place. Just a little tug, not too much. This, at this point this is where people tend to start tightening too much and they start to get their head off kind of sideways and you can see what happens if you were to do that. One side would be down the other side would be way up, way high, and so you want to avoid that. You want to keep those rings centered. Sometimes you have to pull on them. But that's the most important part about tightening, is to keep the top ring evenly placed. So as it tightens up and it works its way down, it's even. And as you start to tighten the ropes, and you see that you're a little bit high, as I am here, you can adjust that kind of with the heft of your pull. Just pull her down and get it centered back over again. So we'll just keep working around the drum. We're going to have quite a bit of excess at the end of this when we're finished. 